now we are going to discuss rolling motion see here in rolling motion is actually a combination of the pure translational as well as pure rotational motion let us take example suppose there is a body or the disc which is having the pure translational motion it means every part of this body is moving with velocity v in this direction center of mass this and this every point is moving with the same velocity that is an example of pure translational motion now if you take the disc here the same disc is here like this and it is rotating about the fixed axis here this then it has got velocity here v is equal to r omega suppose if i have taken r so r omega and here velocity v is equal to r omega this is spinning about this axis that is an example of pure pure rotational motion so this is an example of pure rotational motion now if we combine these two motions or these two bodies are this is having pure translational this is having pure rotational so if we superimpose these two motions pure translational and pure rotational motion then you will be getting it is here like this so this was here the linear motion here so here v plus v and this point initially in translational motion it was zero but in rotation sorry in rotational motion it was zero but in translation it was v so it is here v and this is the point of contact where you have placed on the ground here so what happened here this velocity due to translational was v and this due to rotational it was v here now if these two velocities are equal then this point becomes relatively rest or momentarily rest and the point of the center of mass is moving with velocity v and the top of this point is where this disk is moving with the velocity 2v that is 2r omega if this situation is found in any motion that is the condition of rolling without slipping because this point o is here at rest momentarily here or relatively but now see here the axis of rotation has shifted to this point so the axis of rotation is here and initially in case of pure rotation axis of rotation was here we can also understand in this way here suppose you have taken for this motion only if you have taken a disc suppose this is a disc which is spinning about this about its own axis with angular velocity omega now when it is placed on the surface where friction is there you are placing on this surface where the friction is here what happen this point is going to this side with velocity v but frictional force is acting to this side this frictional force accelerate the point of contact in the forward direction due to this force this point will be accelerating to this side and after some time this velocity velocity in this direction will be equal to this as this velocity point of contact against this velocity and this velocity both are equal then this point of contact will come to rest and then we say the body is doing the pure rolling without slipping 